Welcome to Science at FMNH, a podcast and video series that explores the science behind the scenes at Chicago's Field Museum. For this episode, we asked collections and research staff to answer the question, what inspires you about your field? Well, I'm Janet Voigt. I am an Associate Curator of Invertebrate Zoology here at the Field Museum. My taxonomic expertise are cephalopod mollusks, especially octopus. And it's not octopi, it's octopuses. The inspiring thing about pursuing zoology to me as a career, it's two part. When you make a discovery, you get this rush that you recognize something no one else has ever seen in the world before. You're making a contribution to the universal knowledge. The second thing is that you're actually discovering pattern in nature. Let's say you've gone to the tropics once and you've seen a tropical rainforest and it's just stunning with all the insects and all the plants and all the bats and oh my god there's all this stuff out there. But if you can actually say, wow, I understand why, what processes have acted over time spans that are so big I can't even conceptualize them to make these things the way they are. It's really monumental. It really makes you believe that you've got special insight. My name is Mark Galitko. I'm an archaeologist, so I'm working here in the anthropology department. Mostly what I do here at the museum is what would be called archaeochemistry, using chemical techniques and applying them to archaeological materials. I love anthropology because I'm fascinated by the diversity of ways of doing things in the world that people exhibit, and also understanding how that's changed over time. I mean, the big questions in anthropology are basically like, who are we as human beings, and how did we get to be the way we are now? And what does our past have to say about the kind of animals that humans are in the present? So, you know, there's the, like the long-term perspective of how we got to be who we are as human beings and understanding how we got to be who we are as a species, but also looking at individual cultures, like why do we do certain things that we do in the United States versus the way it's done in Europe. And it's fascinating for me to look at not only the diversity of ways that people do things now, but the diversity of ways that people have done them in the past as well. But, uh, you know, at the same time to understand that we are one biological species, that there's probably more commonality between the way people do things in the world than differences. I'm Lance Grandy. I'm Senior Vice President, Head of Collections and Research here at the Field Museum. Um, but I'm also a curator in the geology department. I'm one of the curators of paleontology. I, I wouldn't define my field as strictly geology because I've never wanted to work inside that limited of a box. I mean, my interests have been evolution, biodiversity, uh, and looking at communities in the past, but all of them involve more than just geology. If I was only a geologist, I would not be able to interpret what I look at, because these are more than rocks. They're actually animals that have been frozen in time, so to speak. It takes a lot to figure out what, how these animals fit into the greater scheme of, of other closely related organisms. And that takes more of a biological uh, background than a geologic background. Part of what I love about the Field Museum is it fosters these interdisciplinary looks at natural history. So me, with a PhD in biology, I was hired by a geology department at the Field Museum. That's the kind of approach here that I think makes us as, as great as we are. We want to take people's talents and push them uh, beyond looking at the narrow and more towards looking at the broad. So my name is Melanie Hopkins and I'm a postdoctoral researcher in the geology department. I work on the early evolution of animals. I think one of the things that I find the most fascinating about geology is the really, really long time scales over which things are happening. You know, if you go to the beach today, you can kind of see that sediment is piling up and getting moved around by waves. And then you go to a rock outcrop from 400 million years ago and it is 200 meters thick and just in that comparison alone you can see how much time it must have taken for this huge pile of rock to build up. And I also love thinking about how things have changed 
over long periods of time. I love paleo reconstructions, uh, paleo tectonic maps, showing where the continents were and how that's changed over time. I actually had this funny experience where I was a teaching assistant in our history class, and the professor was giving a lecture about how you know the continents have changed through time, and and he showed a map that predicted where the continents will be in 50 million years, and all of a sudden I felt really sad. I was like, I will never get to see that. I will not be here for that. And um, <laughs> but I think that thinking about things on timescales that are so foreign to our everyday experience is really mind-bending and uh, really exciting. I'm Nicola Sharrett and I am just finishing my doctoral work here at the Field Museum in anthropology. I'm an archaeologist. My thought on anthropology is that anyone who's interested in people cannot fail to be interested by anthropology because essentially it's about us and it's about humanity. The sense that much as we're different, we're all the same in, in another respect. What I really love about archaeology is it gives you that tangible connection to people in the past. There's something very exciting about finding or excavating or working with material that somebody else produced and loved and used thousands of years ago. My name is Alexandra Westrick. I'm a research assistant for Corey Moreau, who's the curator of ants in the insect division. I've just always appreciated the natural world for giving us that reflection on who we are and how we live in this world and the other kinds of organisms with which we share it. Then. Insects in particular, I'm really obsessed with insects because they have such enormous diversity. They constitute more than half of the living organisms in the world. And then there's just so much richness in terms of their behavior and the forms that they take. My name's Kevin Havener. I'm currently working in botany for Matt von Conrad. What inspires me about botany is, I guess, just the general excitement, the cooperation or communication of the scientific community to contribute to knowledge and to discover new things. You know, yeah, I guess that's what excites me. <laughs> My name's uh, Rick Ree. I'm a, a curator in the botany department at the Field Museum. I love plants because I think they're beautiful and inherently interesting. And I love evolution, like I love the fundamental concepts and how they integrate with the diversity of life that exists on the planet. 